Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Tevik Juster and today I show you some important polymers which are used in the car interior. Okay, let us get started and go to the question why plastics in cars matter. So first, the utilization of plastic supports the, the overall weight reduction and the fuel economy. This is valid for the internal combustion engine driven car as well as for the electric and the full cell car. Furthermore, you have a much more design freedom, which allows you then to make new approaches in the design of the parts itself and you can increase innovation. Furthermore, we have um, a minimum corrosion of plastics part compared to metal and this in turn improves the all over vehicle lifetime. And Plastics enhance also the vehicle safety, the comfort, and also are recyclable. And when you look now in the interior, uh, interior components make the, the largest share of plastics in the car. And we can see that here now an overview of the different kind of uh, applications where plastics are used. So from lighting over instrument panels, so the interior under the hood, seating, door handles, body. So there are several um, where plastics uh, and polymers play an important role and altogether we can say there are per car in average 100 kilogram of plastics. So this represents around 10 to 15 percent of the total weight of the car. And when you look now at the type of plastics, so there are 13 different polymers used in a single car on average and three types make the make about 66 percent of the total amount of plastics used in a car and uh, the largest one is polypropylene 32 percent followed by polyurethane 17 percent and pvc with 16 percent okay Let's start with the interior applications and one of the largest is the instrument panel retainer or IP retainer or also called IP carrier. So they are traditionally made out of metal. However, now most of them are made out of, of plastics because it allows uh, for more complex design and have a, a big cost and weight uh, saving advantage. And what are now the materials used for such an IP retainer. So traditionally in the beginning there was uh, the ABS acrylonitrile butadiene styrene used for this application because uh, ABS offers toughness, stiffness and also good solvent resistance in combination with good processing. This was from the 1980s on. However uh, this has changed and um, we have now also blends of polycarbonate with ABS, so PC-ABS, because as mentioned, ABS has a good balance with stiffness and toughness. Polycarbonate offers us clarity, toughness and also heat resistance. However, the polycarbonate has, is really weak with the notch, uh, with notch, so it's really notch sensitive and more difficult to process. However, there is a good compatibility between polycarbonate and ABS so to uh, to blend it and uh, use it as a material for the IP carrier and uh, then um, more and more uh, modified polypropylene so thermoplastic polyolefins are used so the TPOs uh, they offer an improved gloss behavior so when you think ABS and PCABS, they are better in mechanical properties. However, the TPOs lower, uh, offer lower gloss and this allows for better um, uh, molded in colored parts. And uh, a TPO is a blend of polypropylene with some additives and a thermoplastic elastomer. And in general, there are two types of TPOs, so a high stiffness type um, and a high toughness type and the uh, advantages are really the lower specific gravity it is uh, perfectly for injection molding we have good economics all over and um, it can uh, 
of also good ways for recycling, recyclability. And also when you think now also, mm, in, of electric cars, there's a huge uh, noise reduction benefit with such materials. Then what we can also see as a material for IP carriers are modified polyphenylene eaters, so PPEs. So modified means that most of them are blended with polystyrene. So here we have a high heat deflection temperature and a good flame uh, restriction uh, combined with a good good flow and uh, a good impact behavior. Uh, however, um, PPE needs to be painted because it's, it lacks on UV stability and it's also the stability of, of color. And when you look for, for these instrumental panels, um, UV resistant and chemical resistance are, are really vital and um, trump the heat resistance. Another material we see now are long grass fiber uh, filled compounds, in particular long grass fiber polypropylene and long grass fiber uh, ABS. So the, with a long grass fiber we have the advantage of building a three dimensional skeleton and this leads to uh, enhanced uh, reinforcing um, abilities and impact behavior. And when we combine now this long grass fiber with uh, polypropylene we have a huge cost and performance advantage um, and this makes polypropylene also an engineering polymer and we see this long class fiber products with a growth rate of around 35 percent per year and there's also sterine malic anhydride so sma this is one of the oldest it was already used in the 1960s 70s and we have here also a good heat and impact resistance however it needs to be modified with elastomers to have this property we have also good tensor strength with these materials okay then another interior uh, part is the door models also traditionally made out of metal and now we see here um, mainly polyolefins in this area so again the modified polypropylene the TPO uh, also normal polypropylene and also in combination with uh, unidirectional tapes so it's uh, composites and uh, um, uh, polypropylene in combination so the tapes where really the mechanical strength is needed and then over molded with polypropylene And then uh, another interesting application in the interior are back seats. Uh, so the such uh, seat bags are highly regulated items. So it's uh, not easy to to enter here with new materials uh, since lots of testing is needed. However, there are already um, um, polymers in use for this application. In particular, for example, uh, PC ABS. Um, and here in this example, this is a double shell blow molded uh, back seat. And compared uh, to um, uh, to the metal version, it has a, a weight savings of around 20 to 25 percent. Also, you can use um, now more and more the TPOs again, uh, and also the reinforced TPOs. Okay. If you want to find out more about uh, different polymer engineering topics, I highly recommend you my blog findoutaboutplastics.com. <coughs> As well, um, I offer also online courses for polymer material selection um, in general and also for electric cars. So I will link you both uh, my blog and uh, online courses in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Till next time, thank you and bye.